We wanted to let you know that we have received your comments. Getting a letter from the governor's office is not something that happens every day. And we'll ensure that your passion and concern is brought to the governor's attention. Please know that the governor takes input from everyday Coloradans seriously. Gage Evans received this letter from the governor because she wrote him first. And I wanted it to be not an email, but a physical letter so that hopefully it would draw more attention. Gage's husband, Bill, was killed in the I-70 truck crash in 2019. She was on a Zoom call with the governor on December 30th as he let survivors and victims' families know he was commuting the sentence of driver Rogel Aguilera Medeiros from 100. 10 years to 10. I said I wanted to have on the official record that the way he went about this was very harmful to the actual victims of the crash. She sent her letter one month later, January 30th, with a return receipt that someone at the governor's office would need to sign. I really figured that if it was sent with a signature verification from his office that that it would be passed on to him. What she got in return was the same acknowledgement letter others who have written in about the case also received. The response that I got back was an absolute duplicate of a response that a friend of mine got. If it pertains to a very personal matter that is pending a decision, uh, it's very likely I would see it. This was, a, this was a month after the decision. I was showing it later. Democratic Governor Jared Polis explained that he met with victims' family members and survivors before his decision to commute the sentence and again to notify them of his decision. Gage's letter is one of hundreds that come in each week. Polis does not see them all, but rather gets a weekly report of what is sent his way. It'll say you got 650 emails. It'll break it down by topic. You got 150 uh, letters. Uh, you got this many calls. There's occasions when I, I, I call people as a response. There's occasions where I flag a note uh, for a response. The governor pulled Gage's letter from his pocket during our interview. His staff found it after I reached out earlier today. It has her name and who she is in the second paragraph. I asked the governor multiple times if she should have received a different response, a personalized response to care, compared to anyone else writing. He pointed out that she and others received multiple meetings ahead of that commutation, and he did say that he would be willing to talk with her one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, all right, that's something. I, I think we get that public officials, especially statewide public officials, probably get a ton of this mail, mm -hmm. and they rely on other people to make good decisions for them, but they then ultimately are responsible for the decisions their staff makes. Right, uh, so yeah, he doesn't read all the mail that comes in, and he says, he gets a list of like a, a, a page yeah. of what came in, but someone's job is to kind of review all these really quickly. Maybe they overlooked the second paragraph that had her name and who she was. It should have escalated it to other eyeballs, but yeah, it's someone's job, not, not the elected leader, to read through all everything that they get just a picture like our social media can't read it all sometimes don't want to read it all sometimes yeah marshall thank you